Senses. How can our devotion reach perfection then? After all, devotion is defined as service to the Lord with the senses. You see, service to the Lord with senses. How you will serve God? With senses? And I have to do this service with my senses and I am cheating my senses from my enjoyment, from love. The senses he create to, to service and I steal from him and myself. The senses only were created by Him to use to serve and is made to serve Him, eyes is made to see Him, meditate Him, mouth to take prasada, ear to listen is harikatha, my feet to go parikrama, my mind is to meditate on Him. My other senses, lower senses, to clean yourself that everything can under, clear understand, or then it's clean and nicely keep it. But we want to use for mind drama. So what I have to do, I, I not do for you, I do for myself. It's not natural. That is unnatural. Krishi kena krishi kesa sevanam bhakti rushyate. Narada Pancharatra. The answer is, he is grasped by senses that are steeped in devotion. Devotion alone captures him. Devotion alone captures him. No need to be, you can capture with other things. Prabhupada say in Bhagavad Gita, by devotional practice you can identify your sarup and you can get the city, sarup city. Why? Come to the point. Sarup means the form. How Jesus t- take the form? Because he identify himself that my soul is son and super soul is father. And he starts living. The soul has a identifying to be always continuous in flow with super soul is the only way. Siddhiva's I not move, jump like this. And I am recognized, I know myself is Saru. Knowing and doing, two things. I have many information, one thing. I have information that I have also soul, and soul has a form. And how I know my form? Because of my devotion. My, my exchange of love, I have some feelings of the mood that is my form. When this mood comes, that's a form, feelings. My mood is my feeling, takes the form. You see how 
Lord Krishna. Feeling is the form. Yeah? And this without devotion, how it will Devotion alone captures him. Devotion alone reveals him. The Lord is only controlled by devotion and devotion alone. Adokshaja Krishna is to be considered from a distance along the way shown by the sages, but he is always visible to the Vrajagopis. In other words, when the Braja gopis see Krishna's sweet form, they fall in love with Him and they can attain His sweet association. With this desire... And the Braja gopis they, they are in devotion of God. They was in love. They feel that I, my conjugal lover, so they get this position. They have a sarup of the beloved, and he has a sarup of love. They say Gopi Bhav. What is the difference between Gopi Bhav and Manjari Bhav? We say we are Dasi and the Gopi say I am the real friend. And Mandir is no, no. Thanks for your friendship. Radhika, I want to be your friend. I have no desire to embrace him or kiss him and become her lover. I don't. I want to serve you and I fear when you meet him how you exchange your life. That is Manjari. That is the form. Feeling makes the form. Feelings form. That says so. And when your feeling is there, then nobody is your son and nobody is your father. But by feeling, feeling, this relation grows. My daughter and I am your father. It's a feel. Your feeling is growing, it becomes intense by your devotion. Unbreakable. But ritual, there is no faith. to feel. You do your puja done. But there are no puja. All the time my heart and mind is fixed.
With this desire, they wander around on the banks of Yamuna on the pretext of getting water for their households. That is the power of loyal devotional service. There's no, here means uh, desire of Radhika and gopis is not drinking water. Only the meeting to see Krishna, they, they make this food. Desire is this, but the water is, the bucket is full. But why, how to, why to go to bring what when the pot is full? How you will go to bring the water? You cannot say to your mother-in-law, slowly, slowly they waste the water, they throw it, that up to evening they become empty and there is no water for night time. So they have a plea, they have a reason to go to bring the water. This is devotion. With water they are going that this say devotion. You imagine throwing water and going to bring more water is a not crazy thing. Why? Because how I can go if the water is there? So I have to finish it. I cannot finish it. There are many pots are there, all are bringing. So I have to make it take out, throw the water, put the water in the but it's not necessary that water becomes so less. Then I have a way to go. What is the reason to go? To meet you, to see one plant. This is the reason. With this desire, they wander around on the banks of the Yamuna on the pretext of getting water for their households. That is the power of loyal devotional service. There is no comparison to the loyalty of Radha's main servants. The foot service of Radharani is everything to them. How can I show my face to Swamini while being absorbed in such strong bodily consciousness? Mm. If I am absorbed in my bodily consciousness, mm. so you, how I can see that? How I will observe this, what is happening? They are the thefts who steal my reality to go I am ashamed to offer my contaminated life to her. I am serving, and if my Savior is happy, I will feel successful. Am I doing any bhajan if I don't smell her bodily fragrance, see her bodily luster, or taste her food remnants even slightly? What is bhajan? Am I doing any bhajan if I don't smell 
her bodily fragrance, see her bodily luster, or taste her food remnants, even spicy. Yeah. Means this is the pleasure. To spend that level of fun, live in that level, see the body may last the beauty of and take the reverence of beauty. That is. I do 64 round and this not happening no way. And you do one round and this is start happening at the beginning. Mahaprabhu said one round, not one round japa, one time. Tulasi now comes up to Swamini. It is time for Swamini to take a little rest, she thinks. Although the Sakis are oblivious in their intimate discussion with Swamini, Tulasi never forgets her service. She made a bed as white as a foam on milk for Swamini to lie on. Going up to Swamini, she says, Hey Shyamaju, so much time has passed now. Come and take a little rest. Let's go. How much love this maidservant has. The Sakis admit, we don't love Radhika as much as Tulasi does. We have completely forgotten. Go Saki, it's time for you to rest a little bit. Go. Tulasi then takes Swamini by the hand, takes her to the bed and makes her lie down on it. A blue oil lamp burns there to soothe Swamini's eyes with the remembrance of her lover. Swamini is very happy to lie down on the bed prepared for her by Tulsi. The text mentions the word Keli Talpa or bed for love play. But such a bed is only there in the kunja, isn't it? How can there be such a play bed in Srimati's in-laws house? Because she sees Shyamasundra coming to her in her dreams. This is called Swapna Vilasa or love play in a dream. The verse... Can we say dream is the imagination. A mm -hmm. dream is dream. It's not this dream. And a dream matter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is happening in her in-laws house. Yes. And in dream, and manjaris are feeling this. What happened to the crown? So she put the light blue oil that could my Swami will sleep with the thinking of blue is loving. <laughs> Divine. That's the thing. Bhajan Kriya. Bhajan Kriya means my all activities one point. No doubt. The 
verse mentions Abu Shayis Yasi Swapnena. You adorn this bed by dreaming on it, not by sleeping on it. Wow. Swamini is enchanted by dreaming of Shama's form. That is like an ocean of rasa. His face that shines like a moon. Shira. And his neck that is adorned by a garland of jasmine flowers. Ah. How wonderfully she moves in her sleep while she dreams of enjoying with Krishna. How sweetly she moves her feet and how sweet is the smile on her face. How much she speaks in her dream. Shama cannot leave Swamini under any circumstance. Being attracted to her love for him. Later at night, when they meet in Vrindavana, Krishna asks Swamini, Did you dream of me this evening? I also dreamt of you. Blessed is our Swamini. Blessed is our Shama. Tulasi sees that Shamini decorates her bed by stretching herself out on it. It is as if her sweetness drips from the bed and inundates Tulasi with a stream of rasa. Suddenly, the vision ends and Sri Raghunatha falls on the bank of Radha Kunda and anxiously prays. When you are absorbed in a joking conversation with Lalita and your other girlfriends, I will make a plate bed for you with my own hands, an enchanting bed of flowers. When you lie down on it, you see Shama in your dream and enjoy with your beloved. I will fill up my eyes with the sweetness of your body that decorates this flavor. Wow. I understand. You're always thinking how to Listen, 24-7 and the fixed in one point, that is identity. And then you do any chanting, it makes you higher. Verse 55. O Mano Niyakriday, girl with a beautiful heart. O Sadey, merciful girl. Will that beautiful, blessed day come when this maidservant of yours will massage your feet and Sri Rupa Majri takes care of your hands? Notes. Sri Raghunatha Dasa is agitated by feelings of love in separation. He is deeply absorbed in his Swarupa Avesha and he has no other aim than Swamini's lotus feet. In Braja Vilasa Stava, he says, My heart is very agitated. My remembering even a drop of the sweet divine nectar ocean 
that is the ego that you show up. The Acharyas are our example. Our lives should be completely in allegiance to them. It is the nature of greed that it will not let a person in peace until he has gotten the object of his desire. This means that when we think of something for a moment and the mind is drawn to something else the next moment, we cannot really speak of genuine greed. When the aspirant performs bhajan in allegiance to the acharyas, a tiny drop of their vast devotional greed may become infused in his heart. How sweet are the activities of Sriman Mahaprabhu's associates. Whether they were householders or renunciants, they were all free from attachment to sense gratification. Their auspicious dissension into the material world was meant for distributing tangible devotional experiences and detachment from sense gratification. Every mouthful of food causes nourishment, satisfaction, and cessation of hunger. In bodily consciousness, I cannot understand that I am Radha's maidservant. I just like to be connected with Maya. Sri Narottama Thakur sings, The senses that dwell in our bodies are so many enemies. Nobody cares to stop them. My eyes hear, but don't listen, and my heart knows, but does not realize. One thing is for sure, this body cannot stay. I am chewing the thorns of sense gratification like a camel who cuts his mouth and tongue by chewing thorns instead of eating the mango pits of devotion like the cuckoo. I am burning to death in the fire of Maya but still I will not relish the nectar of devotion. Sri Narottama sings, I consider the poison of sense gratification to be happiness. Although I should know it to be miserable. Taste the nectar of Govinda's subject and associate with his devotees. No loving devotion to be real. Govinda's service is bliss and the lack of his service is misery. Yeah. Mm. I desire service being surrounded by the Sakis. That service contains the greatest bliss. When you love God, the divine remnants of that love will be scattered throughout the universe. Then you can experience universal love as it is. Wow. Again. When you love God, the divine remnants of that love will be scattered throughout the universe. Then you can experience universal love as it is. Then the spiritual world is sweet 
The material world is sweet, and sweet Krishna is even more sweet. The spiritual world is so sweet, material world also becomes sweet again. When you love God, the divine remnants of that love will be scattered throughout the universe. Then you can experience universal love as it is. Then the spiritual world is sweet, the material world is sweet, and sweet Krishna is even more sweet. This is the subject to give to the Prana. There is nothing not free. Sweetness will be pervading inside out. Swamini lies to rest on an excellent bed covered with a bluish sheet. This sheet is very dear to her simply because it is blue and reminds her of Shama. She dreams of Shyama and his sweetness makes her happy inside and out. Rupa Manjari and Tulasi can both admire her charming beauty and serve her limbs at that time. How wonderful is their love for Swami? Wow. Rupa and Tulasi's friendship is similar in this material world where they are known as Rupa Goswami and Raghunatha Dasa Goswami. Srila Raghunatha Dasa introduces himself as follows by writing in the end of his Vishaka Nandadas Totram. This garland of verses was strung by someone who subsists simply on serving the dust from Srimad Rupa Goswami's lotus feet. May the devotees who take shelter of him accept the fragrance of this garland. It is described in Bhakti Ratnakara that after reading Sri Rupa Goswami's play Lalita Madhava which describes Sri Radhika's feelings of separation from Krishna Sri Raghunatha Dasa Goswami almost died of transcendental agony Just to save his life, Rupa Goswami gave him his Dana Kehi Komadi to read, a one-act play which deals with a blissful meeting of Radha and Krishna. This inspired Raghunatha Dasa to write his jewel-like one-act play named Nana Keli Chintamani. Sri Rupa Goswami has also written a dedication to Raghunatha Dasa Goswami at the conclusion of his Dana Keli comedy. O Madhava, my friend Raghunatha Dasa has given up all other activities and is now living in a cottage on the bank of Radha Kunda, very anxious to serve you exclusively and Sri Radhika. You always cast a merciful glance on those who live in Vrindavana and you fulfill their desires. So please quickly 
make the tree of his aspirations bear fruit. These are some examples of their very intimate friendship. Tulsi and Rupa both climb on the bed to serve their Swami. They are not at all shy. Their servant mood is mixed with a mood of friendship for Swami. Oh. Tulasi calls Swamini Manoniya Hridaya, girl with a beautiful heart. Literally, the word Manoniya means knowing, the mind, Mana. Manoniya means you are so beautiful, girl, that you know my mind what I am thinking. Hmm. Manogya, you have all the details knowledge mm. what is going in my mind. Mm. Srimati knows what is on Rupa and Tulasi's mind. So she gives them the service. Manogya also means beautiful one. Her endless beauty illuminates the house, the bed, and the hearts of the kinkaris. Her luster has turned Shama Sundara golden, making him become Gaura Sundara. <coughs> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> Means Shama Sundara become Gaura the quintessence of Mahabhava personified. All the poetic analogies about Sri Srimati Radhika's beauty, her face defeating the moon in beauty, her eyes defeating the lotus flowers, and her nose defeating the sesame flowers are ultimately futile. Only by her mercy, in the form of ecstatic love, can she be seen and felt in a heart illuminated by the Suddha Sattva, uh -huh. pure goodness. The Suddha Sattva. The Suddha Sattva pure goodness. Pure goodness and the Suddha Sattva. Living in the Sarup. In my Sarup identity, I can see how this is everything. Goodness, everybody knows. Pure goodness, knowing and soul comes. And we should the Sattva means out of soul also is formed. Sri Many are living in Sattva 
ansur dan sab. Pakai sambri sudah bersih.
your husband also there. They cannot doubt. You are free from all the that is one flow. The Radha to flow to the up one point. No one can hold up and doubt. Other goes up from down, Dhara. Our flow is only one point, up. We are. So. Only by her mercy, in the form of ecstatic love, can she be seen and felt in a heart illuminated by Vishuddha Sattva. Wow! Vishuddha Sattva! Yes, when I know I do the creation of my soul, Vishuddha Sattva, then it can be like Vishuddha Sattva. Again, this. Only by her mercy, in the form of ecstatic love, yeah. Can she be seen and felt in a heart illuminated by Vishuddha Sattva? Vishuddha Sattva. Not Vishuddha Sattva. No hope of Vishuddha Sattva. Sattva Guni forget that. To the Sattva, people living in the whole world, they cannot see. That conditional state will never be. of nectar becomes nectarian. Similarly, the garments, ornaments, and unguents of Sri Radhika are also filled with Mahabhava. Whatever falls into an ocean of nectar becomes nectarian. Ocean of nitrogen, it will become nitrogen. Anything will be in that ocean, it will become nitrogen. So, similarly, the garments, ornaments, and unguents of Sri Radhika are also filled with Mahabhava. The mind is all who touch her, all this. Garnet, material. Lord, habit. Mahajanas relish this and we taste their remnants. Sri the Krishna Das the Kaviraja Goswami has written Radha is anointed with the fragrant ointment of affection towards Krishna. This makes her very fragrant body shine even more brightly. 
she takes her first bath in a stream of the nectar of compassion. Her middle bath in the stream of nectarian youthfulness. And her final bath in the stream of nectarian beauty. Then she puts on a silken blue sari made of her own bashfulness. Radha is anointed with a fragrant ointment of affection towards Krishna. This makes ointment. I full of this ointment. She cannot see other things. Our vision become bad because the ointment is good. Krishna ointment is covering her visions. <laughs> and Manjuri ointment is Radha. But Manjuri is Radha. This makes her very fragrant body shine even more brightly. She takes her first bath in a stream of the nectar of compassion, her middle bath in the stream of nectarian youthfulness, and her final bath in the stream of nectarian beauty. Then she puts on a silken blue sari made of her own bashfulness. Her second red garment consists of passionate love for Krishna.
on her breasts are covered with a blouse of loving pink. She is anointed with three ointments, the vermilion of beauty, the sandalwood oak of the love of her girlfriends, and the camphor of her lustrous smile. Her body is decorated with musk pictures that represent Krishna's brilliant erotic rasa. Her braid is made of hidden anger and opposition and scented powder of her calm yet not calm attributes adorn her limbs. The red color of pawn that represents her passionate love brightens her lips and her eyes have eyeliner of the crookedness of love. Her body is adorned with all the ecstatic ornaments such as Sudipta Sattvika Bhavas and the Sanchari Bhavas like Harsha, Joy. She is also adorned with 20 other Bhavas such as Kila Kinchita. Her whole body is hung with flower gardens of attributes. Her forehead is brightened by beautiful tilaka of fortune. Prema Vaichitya is the jewel and her heart is the locket. She places her hand on the shoulder of a girlfriend named Adolescence and she is surrounded by her sakis that represent her mental activities that are concentrated on Krishna's pastimes. She sits on a bed of pride in the abode of her aroma that is her body. Always thinking of Krishna. Krishna's names attributes and glories are her earrings. She loves to hear about them. And Krishna's names, qualities and glories form the stream of her words. She makes Krishna drink the honey beverage called Shamarasa erotic flavors and she always fulfills all of Krishna's desires. She is a mind full of jewels of pure love for Krishna and her body is filled with all incomparable attributes. This is Krishna's Kaviraj's
blow. Feelings made one form. Our feelings made multiple forms. Huh? Our feelings made one form. And our feelings made multiple forms. Our feelings also make one form. We are seen up. And our feelings make the dark seat to life. Only one. Everything is offered to us at And our same teaching we learn from God. So everything I will offer to you.
this part. Only if it is anywhere in my heart. And I just, how much I can buy this. It's not really, it's over digestion. Thank you.